What is going on guys, A21 Mayo here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to play the brand new attacker, Flores, coming in the new season, Crimson Heist. I'm going to show you guys some tips and tricks with him. I'm going to show you guys some secret ways you can use him to get kills or anything like that. So make sure you guys stick around for the entire video. Now, as you can see, we are on the reworked version of Border, and if you guys want a full map breakdown of some cool spots and some rat angles, and just an overall breakdown of the new rework. There is a video up right now on my second channel. There's a link to it in the description, but before you go there, like this video, comment on it, and then head on over to that video and make sure you guys watch this video as well. And I also wanna thank Ubisoft for allowing me to come out and test. I never really thought I would be able to be in the position to come out and test new content that isn't allowed to be tested and played by the public. So again, Ubisoft, seriously, thank you. I appreciate it a lot. But let's go over some ways you can play Flores and the upcoming season, Crimson Heist. Before we actually jump into the video, I quickly wanna mention that 45% of you guys aren't subscribed. So if you guys have not hit that sub button already, I would greatly appreciate it. It also helps out the YouTube algorithm. I also wanna mention that I'm now doing coaching. So if you guys are interested in that, all of your questions can be answered in the link to my Patreon down below where the hub is for my coaching. And yes, I do coaching for console players. So Flores is a two armor, two speed, two difficulty operator. Now the difficulty part of it, I don't agree with in my opinion. I definitely think that he can be used in some ways that I'm gonna show you in, in today's video that don't really respect the fact that he's a two difficulty. I think he should be a three in most situations, but nonetheless, face value, Flores, yes, I can agree with him being a two difficulty. Now if we jump into his loadout, he has the option of the AR-33 with only the option up to the 2.0 magnification everything below now as a secondary option he has the option to bring the sr25 which if some of you might know it is the dmr that lion can use on his kit so i'm pretty sure correct me if i'm wrong this is the only op other operator that has this dmr to be used in their kit and you know this gun it is a dmr so it has a 3.0 optic and then also the 1.0 optics as well as for his only option as a secondary the gsh 18 this is the pistol that Capcan and Tachanka can use. It's an okay pistol. I mean, the iron sights are, they're all right, but high max size, so that's nice. And then for his secondary utility, you have the option to bring stun grenades as well as a claymore. So, you know, his kit overall, in terms of weapon and secondary utility, it's all right. I think it's pretty average, nothing too crazy, you know, no, no grenades or something super strong like that. I mean, flashes are always nice, and the AR-33, I think, is a, a pretty solid weapon, in my opinion, at least. But the real meat and potatoes of Flores is his gadget. So let's actually start going over that now. All right, and so here we are in the reworked version of Border. I'm just here to kind of give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek. So if you guys want the full in-depth walkthrough and kind of dissection of the map, that will be up on my second channel, so make sure you guys go check that out. But nonetheless, we're here for Flores. So just to kind of give you a rundown of his primary gadget, it is the RCE drone, which is a drone that can only move forward. So if I'm holding my S key or tapping it here, you can see that, you know, I can't go back and forth. And then it speeds up a little bit, and then eventually it detonates. So it has a fuse timer of around, or sorry, it has a timer of around 13 seconds, I believe. So it starts at 10 seconds, and then it also has the fuse timer. And you can also manually activate this gadget by clicking your mouse one button. And as you can see, that also activates the fuse, and then it starts ticking down on the timer. Now, in the current version of the build that I'm playing on, Flores currently has four drones. I think that's a little bit too much, so I'd like to see that brought down a little bit. Because if you have four drones of the Boom Boom, then you also have two regular drones on Flores. So in total, you have six drones, which is very, very strong. And yes, you can argue that his drones can't be used to drone things out and stuff like that, but it is always an option to do that. And one last little thing that I wanna go over on the basics of his drone is attaching it to surfaces. And you heard me right, this drone can jump and attach to surfaces. So if you look here, it attached to the surface and blew up. So far from my testing, and it, I've had quite a bit of it, you know, you can attach this to any surface that you can reach. So even this is a hard wall, and obviously it's not gonna make any hole on it because it is a hard wall, but you can attach it to pretty much anything. So if I also go find the bomb chassis. So any surface that the drone can jump to, it can also attach to as well. So, and I'm just kind of giving you guys a little 
look at the new bathroom, but yes, you know, you can attach it to any surface, at least to my knowledge and my testing, it can be attached to those. So when it is activated like it is right now, it is vulnerable to being shot. So anywhere on the gadget, it can destroy it. But once the fuse timer has been activated, it becomes bulletproof. So if I acti activate the fuse, try to shoot it, as you can see, it is non-destroyable. But as a defender, what you can do is use an impact grenade or some sort of explosive and destroy the gadget. So it's very similar to Malusi's Banshee in the sense that it cannot be shot to be destroyed, but it can have an explosive used on it to destroy it. All right, and so you guys have a very basic understanding of how Floris' primary gadget works. Let's actually jump into some advanced ways on how to use him to your advantage when you do play him. So one really, really important thing that you guys need to notice and use when you do play Floris is the fact that when you deploy the drone, you can get off of it and it will carry the same path that it was set on. So if I put it in one direction, it will keep traveling in that same direction. And it won't turn, it only goes straight when it is activated and set on its path. Another thing to recognize when you guys are doing this is the fact that it is not set true to the center of your screen. So if I put a dot here, don't move my crosshair, and the dot is still in the center of the screen, you will see that where the bullet hole is, the, the Flores drone, the RCE, will not travel in the same path of where my dot is on my screen in the middle of it. So if I deploy the drone and we follow it down the hallway, I didn't move my mouse or anything, you can already see the path that it's taking is completely offset from the bullet that I put on the wall. So, you know, it would have been ending up somewhere over here in East Main instead of hitting directly on my bullet hole. So it's important to note whenever you are playing Floris that you offset just a little bit for it being favored to the left side a little bit. So if I want my drone to go through this doorway, I don't want to put my crosshair here. I want to put it just on the other side of the door. And the further the distance away that you're from the area that you want the drone to go through, as you can see, this is pretty much going to hit the middle of the door there. So if I put it in the middle, this drone would have been caught on the side of the door and then would have had to kind of drive past it or through it, so to speak, because it will stay in a straight line. Another important note to keep in mind is that once you get off of the drone, you cannot get back on it. So as you can see, I can only get on a normal drone that every attacker has. So once you deploy it, get off of it, you cannot retake control of the drone itself. It will just keep going whichever path it was set on. Now, another really cool thing that you can do with Flores, as I am in break and CCTV, is you can use it for vertical play. So as you saw in the intro clip of the video, it does a significant amount of vertical play or, or vertical holes or any just sort of soft destruction for that matter on any soft surface. So it can be used for soft walls, soft floors, soft ceilings, whatever it is. If you can get the drone up there, it will destroy anything in the radius. And probably one of the most important questions, can the RCE drone kill people? And yes, it can. I'm going to play a clip of me killing someone. Here it goes. Did it not stick? Uh, I'm getting an indicator, by the way. So you actually get an indicator from underneath, like you do with the nades. So I tested this out and I'm going to throw you guys some numbers. So as a one armor, three speed operator, it does 180 damage. For a two armor, two speed operator, it does 153. And for a three armor, one speed operator, it does 135 damage. So yes, it will kill every single operator in the game. I'm not sure about Monty and stuff like that, but why would you want to use the drone on Monty? Now, one more thing when it comes to the drone is how far it can travel without jumping. So if I deploy the drone, get off of it, I was as close to the wall as I could be. And then I set this drone off in a path. As you can see, it will detonate at one point, And then I will stand where it detonated. And there it is. I will ping. So that way I have a understanding of where it detonated. I stand on top of the ping. Right there. And then I ping the wall. And as you can see, it's around 33 meters. Now, when you are jumping the drone, the max distance it can travel is 38 meters. So you get an extra 5 meters while jumping with this drone.
Now, another cool thing that you can do with Flores is use his drones in a fleet. So what I mean by a fleet is send multiple in at a time since you can send one drone in, get off of it, and then keep deploying these drones in different areas, forcing the defenders out of their bunker locations or their location that they're playing very heavy in. So as you can see, I prepped the armory door. Let's just say the bomb site is armory and archives. I deploy one drone. I send it through the armory door. I get off of it. It's going half wall. I want to send another one in. Let's do that. So right now, right about here is when the first one is doing that. And then, bam, I clear anyone on a half wall. And then also my other one is going in as well. And that's going to detonate in Africa. So you, you can use your drones and send them in one after each other, which is very, very strong. So if you want to kind of take a piece of map control really fast on the bomb site and just rush site, pretty much, you can send a lot of drones in or send them in before teammates and then have your teammates go in after the drones or even hold crossfire. So, you know, if we open the armory door here and then send a drone in and then we hold the cross, whoever's going to be playing bunker or half wall has to leave in order to not die, right? So, you know, you can have someone hold the cross and then pre-fire whenever you feel the need to, uh, whenever you feel like they're going to start leaving. And then you can just pretty much line up a free kill for you and your teammate. Now, one important thing to note about this drone is whenever you attach it to a soft surface, as you can see, there's going to be an indicator. So you cannot get a direct kill without someone knowing. So whether they're on cams or not really paying attention, or you can use a Zofia stun before you use the Flores drone on someone to kill them. So that way you remove their HUD elements like the one you just saw of the red symbol and the flashing symbol on my screen of the RCE drone being attached to the other side of the wall. So you can use a Candela, you can use a Zofia concussion mine, some ways to kind of remove these HUD elements or distract the enemy and make them feel even more pressure so that way they're not notified that there is a drone right next to them that is about to kill them. A super effective way of using other utility and incorporating it with Flores' RCE drone. Another really cool trick that you guys can do with Flores is use his drone as a bait. So if you send the drone into a bomb site and you know someone's playing close, they're going to probably try to shoot the drone. So right after you send the drone in, you know, you can swing the door and kill whoever is trying to shoot your drone that had just entered the room that they are playing. So another really kind of cool way you can distract the enemy or make them feel pressured in another way to line yourself up a free kill. Now, one more kind of important detail that I want to explain to you guys is the explosion radius of the RCE drone. So it has the exact same explosion radius of a nitro cell and it has a bigger radius than an impact grenade. So the actual radius of the drone itself is very, very strong. It's pretty much a mobile fuse charge or a mobile drone with a nitro cell attached to it. So a very strong piece of utility. You can use it to get rid of anyone playing any areas as a defender, use it to get rid of utility or try to kill someone with it. There's a lot more uses in very specific scenarios, but just more of a broad usage for the RCE drone. You can use it for those three examples that I just laid out. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you, you learned something new for the new attacker Flores in Rainbow Six Siege coming in the new season, Crimson Heist. Now, if you guys want to see a full map breakdown with me on the brand new reworked version of Border, make sure you guys go over to my second channel. It is linked in the description. That video is already up right now. But with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new and I will see you guys in the next video.